Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Shattered Brows. Now this week I'll be taking you with me as I ride the A57 for the first time as a new time rider. Now I had to incorporate the Woodhead Pass to the north as well and make it into a, a sort of loop for myself heading back towards Doncaster afterwards but I had to get this ride in. As a beginner rider it's something I really really wanted to do and the road was due to close for maintenance and inspection following a series of landslides. So Please sit back, enjoy the video, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe and I'll keep this content coming and I'll keep more. Just give me your input and I will get it done for you. Now before I could tackle the twists and turns of Snake Pass, I first had to tackle the job of dealing with my spongy front brakes. It was obvious that Old Fluid was a culprit given the fact that the reservoir looked like an old pot of tea. I mean it had leaves and all with all the gunk that was at the bottom of it. A quick fluid flush and a clean up of the reservoir soon saw the system filled with fresh fluid and I was ready to head out. This job was made more simple with my one man bleeding kit. This is a £5 piece of kit which I will post a review video on of shortly so don't forget to subscribe to see that video. Snake Pass is a hill pass in the Derbyshire section of the Peak District. It crosses the Pennines between Glossop and Sheffield carrying the A57. This was built in 1821 and was a brainchild of Thomas Telford and was a main route between South Yorkshire and Manchester. After a quick refuel for both the bike and some coffee for myself, I headed out from Tankersley on the A616 and then later joined the A628 towards Woodhead Reservoir. The A57 is no longer the main signposted route with traffic now instead being directed through Woodhead Pass to the north. The two passes though can be combined to create a loop of brilliant roads and scenery for a spectacular ride. Now once I arrived in Glossop I set my sat nav so that I did not miss a turn for the Lady Bow Reservoir because there I was going to take 15 minutes to have a break from the bike and have some all important coffee before carrying on home to Doncaster. Stay tuned to see why you never know what is going to be around a corner when you're on your bike. Leave any comments that you have in the comment section. I am new to this. This is 
pretty much well this is my first video that is coming out uh, this is the first one that's going to go live so leave any comments any roads that you'd like to see as other beginner riders this channel is a beginner rider for beginner riders so I'd like to see what you think of it I'd like to see what roads that you'd like to go on I will be doing some maintenance videos and I will be doing some tutorials as well but I'd always appreciate feedback I am starting out so my equipment isn't the best I've done what I can do for you but I hopefully you know please subscribe please like and uh, and I'll do my best just to keep the content coming I'll keep it improving and I'll do that based off of your feedback. All right, guys, take care until next time. Ta-ra.